Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this super simple everyday summer look. If you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. So the first thing I did was moisturize my lips with the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear Moisturizing Lip Balm, and then I primed my skin with MAC Fix Plus. And then I went in with my favorite drugstore foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I am in the shade 220 Natural Beige. I just grabbed a random makeup sponge and blended all of that in. And then I went in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade 27B Light to Medium Beige. I love this concealer because the foundation isn't super full coverage and this concealer is amazing for covering up my acne and discoloration on my face. And then I just went in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder and placed that everywhere where I set the concealer. And then while that sat on my skin, I used the e.l.f. Professional Eyelash and Brow Wand and combed through my eyebrows and then went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I used the shade Blonde and I used a Morphe M165 brush and filled in my eyebrows. Confession time, I actually hate the way I do my eyebrows, so if you have any tips and tricks on how to do my eyebrows better, please comment them down below. For eyeshadow, I used the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes. I went in with the shade Lace Teddy and a random fluffy brush and put that all over because I love working with a matte base. And then using a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush, I dipped into the shade Nudie and put that all in my crease. And then using the same JH33 brush, I dipped into the shade Chocolate Cookie and put that in the same place as the previous shade to help build up the color. For eyeliner, I went in with the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in the shade Black and just did a super thin line. After that, I dusted all the powder off with this random powder brush that I got at TJ Maxx. Then I went in with the Bahama Mama Bronzer and used a Farah Contour 218M brush and bronzed my face. This might be one of my favorite steps of my makeup routine, I absolutely love bronzer. After that, I went in with my favorite Tarte blush in the shade Quirky. I've hit pan on this because it is my favorite and I use it all the time. I just used a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH04 brush. For highlighter, I went in with an Ofra Madison Miller highlighter in the shade C Shimmer and then I used a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH09 brush. I pretty much put highlighter everywhere. I love it. <laughs> And then I used a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush and put that in my inner corner and to highlight my brow bone. Then I went in with a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH39 brush and dipped back into chocolate cookie and applied that below my waterline. I just learned this trick and I am obsessed with it. It has seriously changed the way my makeup looks. Lately, I have been really loving Nude Liner on the Waterline. This is from Rimmel London and in the shade 005 Nude. After that, I set my makeup with the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. Next, I am going to use the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel and set my brows down. Next, I will be using my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This has been my favorite for years and I have never been able to find another one that's better than this. Next, I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Lipstick, and it is in the shade 65 Seductress. And this is my finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. Makeup tutorials are seriously so out of my comfort zone, but I am hoping to do more of them. 
I hope you all enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for more of my videos. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!